Hello, welcome to the Podcorn Podcast. The topic is friendships. Today's guest is Doa. Hello, Doa. Could you introduce yourself? Of course. Hello, everyone. I'm Doa. I'm from Turkey or Turkey. Uh, I'm 24 years old. I'm an international ESC volunteer. And now, nowadays, I'm at the end of my project. I was a volunteer in a long-term project in Karlovac, Croatia. And yeah, that's it. And I'm a sociology graduate. Great. The first question is, how do you define friendship? What does it mean to be a good friend? Well, this is a really deep topic, so I have to be uh, shallow about this because you need a definition. So I would define friendship as like you are volunteering to get to know each other, spend time together. So you give your time and energy and also receive someone's time and energy voluntarily. Uh, like by heart so that's really important what does it mean to be a good friend Uh, a good friend I think is a good communicator Uh, when it comes to forgiving understanding supporting each other being an adult being in an adult relationship uh, is important I mean what makes a good friend is communication I would say okay How do you navigate conflicts or disagreements within friendships? Well, in any kind of relationship, I need a little bit of time to myself after a conflict. I need maybe an hour, maybe a day. And then mostly uh, I feel like uh, I feel like talking afterwards after waiting for a while. So in my side, first I explain people that Uh, when I have a conflict in my life I need to wait a little bit and then uh, I try to communicate with them and I'm expecting uh, I expect people to be open uh, about communication Mm -hmm. so uh, like together communicating like that okay how have social media and technology impact the way we form and maintain friendship on the top of my head i feel positive about it because like uh, now i live in croatia but all of my friends are in like turkey germany italy canada but i would like to remain my my friendship with them so technology helps me in that case we're always texting with each other we're helping each other we're uh, having video calls even sometimes we send money to each other thanks to uh, technology we can do that in seconds and i think it affects uh, us in a good way i mean i know that people say like oh everyone is scrolling all the time friendships are not like before but i don't agree that like if you're an adult uh, then you should uh, be able to um, control have a control over your screen time and everything so if you have a problem with scrolling then you you have problem with everything not only with friendship have you ever experienced the end of the significant friendship how did you cope with it well of course like like everyone of course some of my friendships ended and some of them started But I think the most significant friendship of mine ended like a year and a half ago and it was really difficult to cope with it because I, I, I didn't know what happened. So that was the problem. If my friend, he was really, really, really close to me. So if I would know what happened, if we can solve something or if he is having something personal i would help or i would try to do something about it but like my friend didn't respond me at all like never so after a year year i heard from him through a friend which was really rude because we spent years together 
I don't know what happened, so it was really difficult to cope with it, but life is harsh, you get used to everything, that's why it's okay now. Okay, how do your cultural difference influence the dynamics of friendship? How do cultural differences, okay, influence? Well, uh, I mean, depends on the cultures because like there are some similar cultures or uh, their cultures are not that similar. So uh, I will take like Croatian and Turkish culture as an example. Uh, I think there are not too many problems about my uh, international friendships, mm -hmm. but maybe sometimes they they may think that i'm too political about like in political and politicized i don't know what do they say in english like uh we in turkish we say politic uh to a person if someone is really interested and politicized about everything like thoughts and everything so in turkey as youth we tend to uh, talk about politics economy all the time our parents i think the same so maybe here we have that cultural differences that we cannot take a chill pill like them we always talk about the problems in our cult uh, our country or uh, about politics so that's why maybe uh, this may influence the dynamics of friendship mm -hmm. Can you share any advice for making and keeping friends as ad adults? Well, I think everyone should first work on themselves because becoming mm -hmm. an adult is a difficult process uh, that you have to deal with it. So uh, it's really, really difficult. Everyone should try to cope with their emotions and lives and then they can remain a good relationship. If you have a good relationship with yourself, then I think you can also remain a good uh, friendship or relationship with people around you. What is the importance of vulnerability and trust in deepening the friendships? It's really important. Uh, so I don't know what to say about that, like deepening friendships uh it may require more than trust and it depends on people's perspective about trust for example if i don't want to share something with you but you are insisting for me to share that with you and you're telling me that uh, i'm breaking your trust then uh, you're just manipulating the concept of trust so I think trusting each other is really important, but also having some same perspectives uh, and sharing thoughts on the same things, uh, deepening friendships, but also having different uh, thoughts on the topics. For example, you can uh, have an argument over those topics, but you can still uh, remain as friends as usual. That's also important. I don't know what did I say. I know it's really complicated, but I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. How do you maintain long distance friendships? Well, it's not that easy, but as I mentioned before, we have... Um, technology, we have social media, we have WhatsApp, we have everything. Uh, so it's not that difficult, but I miss them so much. Like during the year, I had chance to see my friend in Germany. That was really, really refreshing for me. I don't know if what I would do without seeing her. And also I miss uh, my other friends and I have really close, I have a really, really close friend who lives like uh, in Canada, but also goes to Turkey from time to time. Uh, somehow we cannot see each other for a long time like that. And also I couldn't see one of my friends who lives in Vienna for a long time. So sometimes it's uh, really difficult to maintain it because in terms of maintaining, okay, I'm like, I, I, I still uh, text and call my friend in Canada, but uh, my friend in Vienna, we stopped at some point. It was really tiring 
and we stopped at some point. So I think also uh, being uh, close to each other important as well. Okay. What do you think the future of friendship looks like um, in an increasingly digital world? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not that good at, good at this kind of topics. However, on top of my head, um, I think it's not gonna be that different. I mean, future, future when? I don't know. I think it's not gonna be that different because like people may have um, friends online and also friends in person today as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I know that people have like um, dystopian stories about like everything's gonna change and transform. But I don't know, I think uh, some things uh, will remain the same. Okay, have you ever met a lasting friendship through uh, volunteering? Can you share that experience? Uh, lasting friendship through volunteering? Uh, I'm thinking, I think no, because my first volunteering experience was online. I was tutoring uh, children online, so that's why I couldn't make friendships from that experience and after that I uh, worked for homeless people but for uh, a short period of time so I couldn't get any friends so after this uh, volunteering experience we will see if m my friendship with uh, people from people that I met in Croatia will last, we'll see that, I don't know yet. Okay, how do you maintain boundaries between friendship and professional relationships when volunteering? Uh, actually, it, it's not only my responsibility to uh, maintain those boundaries, mm -hmm. because if someone gives me a feedback in a professional way, I should be able to take it uh, as a professional and not take it personally it is really important I don't even have um, words for how important is it is that so I think both sides um, have to be adults and uh, they shouldn't take things personally they shouldn't be offended easily uh, and things will be easier for them, I think. I know that it's really difficult to develop that, uh, let's say, skills, but it will come in a time, I think. This is the last question. How does volunteering together impact the dynamics of a friendship? Uh, I'm not sure again, but I think volunteering together uh, would be a great experience uh to have together uh, mm -hmm. because like i remember uh, i told my cousin you know cousins are also friends so yeah. uh, i told my cousin that i was volunteering for homeless and i asked if she i think she asked i don't remember and i told her that she can come uh, and join us and she decided to come and join us and then we had something to talk about something uh, in common to talk about to share ex exchange experiences and it was a unique opportunity for us so i think volunteering together sounds good sounds amazing okay thank you for coming thank you for having me here